Now the 2-2. Brown ball up the middle, standing right there as Andino steps on the bag at second for one and the relay to first base in time for a double play. Siciliani will score as the Bisons take a 1-0 lead, but not the worst case scenario by any stretch for the Tides as they're able to get two quick outs. 1-2, two, two loops, and he swings over the top of it. Ground ball, and Dino goes to second. And now they try to throw in behind the runner at third, not in time. So all they can get is the out at second base. So Parmley is forced out. Sneaking home from third base easily is Opitz, as Buffalo now takes a 2-0 lead. Five hits over the last three games for Henry Arudia, native of Cuba. The pitch lifted in the air, left center field, hit pretty well. Long run back for Parmley, still on the run of the warning track, looking up, that ball is gone. Into the bullpen, just clear the white line near the 375 marker. Henry Arudia brings the Tides back within one with a home run. So Schaefer trying to be a hero here in the seventh. Swing at a tapper off the bat to the ground in front of the mound, racing to grab it, spinning and throwing belly ball, and at first base gets the out on Schaefer. So Logan swinging first pitch, a little cue shot ground ball, back Three, five, out towards four, the hill, uh, and a 1-3 ground two. out. Ends the nightcap as the Tides threaten but fail to score here in the seventh inning. No runs, one hit, one walk, two men left for the Tides. And our final score in game two, Buffalo two, the Tides one.